three scenes of Ferris Bueller's Odd Day Off, and they were all improvised. And uh, I was really originally just going to go there and read the role, take the role of the class off camera. But when I got there, the student extras were laughing so hard as I did my reading that John Hughes said, why don't you, we improvise you teaching a class about something you know that you won't have to think very hard about. So I did that, all improvised that, a word written down at business about Holly Smoot and the supply side economics. <laughs> and, uh, then I, uh, and, then I, and then he said, well, that works so well. We'll do another scene where you're trying to find out where Ferris Bueller is. And then there's another incredibly short scene where you'll be off camera while, while we see the halls of the school. And uh, all of them were improvised. And I didn't really base the, uh, I thought actually it was a pretty interesting lecture about supply side. <laughs> and I still do. And I think I kind of captured pretty much the essence of it in a very few sentences. And, uh, but other people did not find it as interesting, which was lucky for me. You make an awful lot more money making people laugh and educating them. <laughs> and, uh, so, uh, so the, the, I, and I pattered, I'd say, if I pattered the voice on anyone, and it probably was just my own voice, it was a teacher that I had seen teach civics for a whole year at a school in the San Fernando Valley called Birmingham High School and to write an article about what high school is like today for, the, for Los Angeles Magazine. I had sat in on her class for almost an entire year. And uh, I had a pretty good idea of what a high school teacher was, would teach like based on that. And so she really inspired me. I later found out that that teacher was, was uh, I guess discipline might be worth having a torrid affair with one or more of her male students. <laughs> <laughs> that was not part of my teaching.